This video focuses on gamifying an individual classroom lesson, not on gamifying a project, a semester, or a course. It is also for teachers of English as a foreign language. This means the techniques used can't be too elaborate. Games need to be introduced quickly and in a way that is easy to understand. Anyway, I think gamification works best when there is hardly any explanation at the beginning. It is more engaging if the children pick things up as they go along, discovering game items or game rules when they are immersed in activities. Decide on a theme and goals. I think the first step when gamifying a lesson is to decide on a theme. The theme could be a sport, a fantasy world, space travel, a car race, pirates hunting treasure, a popular movie, or anything like that. The theme also needs one or more goals, such as reaching a distant galaxy, finding treasure, or rescuing a princess from a dragon. Identity. I think the next step is for the children to have identities. The children can decide on names for their teams, such as the name of a sports team or the name of a pirate ship or spaceship. And each child can have a character with an appropriate game piece. In a lesson that is game spaced as well as gamified, the children can use these pieces when they play the individual games in the lesson. In a lesson that is just gamified, but where many or even all the individual activities in the lesson are not games, the children can still use these pieces for the overall lesson theme. If there is time, the children can make their own character pieces during a lesson, or they can make them for homework. I have found that even spending just a few minutes on this in a lesson, with the children making characters out of Lego or other materials, does wonders for the children's engagement in the lesson. Chance items Chance items give extra powers to the children, or penalise them in some way. Not all gamified lessons include chance items. But adding this game element is a simple and effective way to increase the children's engagement in a lesson. The easiest way to include these chance items is to have them as cards that the children either draw from a pack during or after the activities in a lesson. Each positive item gives the children certain powers. For example, in a race to a distant galaxy, Positive items might include a friendly alien, a space station for refueling, or a superintelligent robot. These items might give the children an extra roll of the dice, enable them to move to the next planet, enable them to defeat a monster, give them the right to choose the next game, or even allow them not to do homework. Some of these items would be used immediately, and some could be used later at a time that the children choose. Negative items might include meteors, monsters or dangerous aliens, which could lead to penalties like missing a turn, going back to a previous planet, losing points, or even things like having extra homework. Integrate behaviour Bad behaviour in a class can also lead to penalties in a game. For example, if the children are chatting to each other and the theme is a soccer game on the board, we can go to the board and gradually move the ball towards the children's goal until they stop chatting. Challenges and problems It is best to try and include challenges for the children to overcome and puzzles for them to solve. This could include getting lost in space, solving a secret message, encountering monsters, or finding clues to discover where treasure is. Let's look at some specific ideas for themes. Treasure Island At the start of a lesson, draw a treasure island on the board with a grid on it. 
or set this up on a digital screen. Secretly write down what is hidden in each of the squares in the grid. During the course of a lesson, the children select squares, and all kinds of positive or negative things happen depending on which square they choose. They might discover silver or gold, or they might get attacked by a shark. The same kind of game can be played with other themes. The theme could be animals, with some squares having friendly animals and some having dangerous ones. The theme could be Christmas presents, with some squares having things the children would probably love to have for Christmas, and other squares having joke presents. Collecting sets. In this kind of game, the children draw cards during a lesson and need to collect sets. This kind of game can be used for almost any theme. They could collect animals, collect shopping items, collect cartoon characters, collect countries, or anything like that. Race themes. The lesson could be set up as a car race, a monster race, a dinosaur race, or any other kind of race. During the lesson, the children can gain the right to roll a dice or draw a card from a pack that enables their team to move around the track. There are various ways to set up the racetrack. One way is to draw the track on the board or on a digital screen with some positive or negative squares. The track can be fairly straightforward or in the form of a game such as snakes and ladders. An alternative is to have a racetrack made of cards. When a child lands on a card, she turns it over to reveal what is on the other side. Some of the cards can have positive or negative items on the other side, and some can be pictures, words, or sentences. Draw a picture. During the course of a lesson, the children gain the right to draw part of a picture. These pictures can be drawn by each child or by a team, and can be based around a theme. One way to do this is for the children to be able to draw for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds, depending on what right they earn or what special powered chance item they discover. Another way is for each part of a picture to correspond to a different number on a dice. At the beginning of the lesson, either you or one of the children draw a picture on the board. For example, it might be a dog. You then number the parts of the dog from 1 to 6. 1 could be the body. 2 could be the head. During the course of a lesson, a child or a teen gets a chance to roll a dice and try to copy the picture of the dog. If they roll a 1, they can draw the body. If they roll a 2, they can draw the head of the dog, and so on. If they have already drawn the part of the dog indicated by the dice, they cannot draw anything. Throwing or tossing. The children can gain the right to throw or toss something. They could throw a sticky ball at items or points on the board that they try to collect. They can toss a bean bag onto animals on the floor and collect a zoo. There can be a basketball theme, and they can throw a big dice into a basket. There are many possibilities like this. Board game. There can be a simple board game with an attractive theme that the children play throughout a lesson. For example, a find a way through game. In these games, each child or team puts a piece on start, throws a dice, and follows the direction on the board indicated by the number on the dice, and tries to reach the finish. In a Rescue the Princess board game, the princess could be hidden in one of the rooms in a castle, and the children have to find which room she is in. Alternatively, as in this illustration, they know where she is, and either try to be the first team to reach her, or one team can try to reach her, and the other team can try to block them.
There are many possible variations for the rules of a game like this. Sports theme There could be a sports theme that runs through the lesson. In the case of soccer, there could be a board like in this illustration. Place a ball on the soccer ball in the centre. If the red team starts, the red player throws the dice and moves the ball towards the blue goal. The blue player then throws the dice and moves the ball towards the red goal. If the ball lands on a player from the same team, the team throws again. To score a goal, the ball must land exactly on the opposing player's goal. If the ball goes further than the goal, there is a goal kick. The opposing player puts the ball on their goal and throws the dice twice. An alternative could be to have a board such as in this illustration. In this case, a 1 or a 2 on the dice means the ball moves 1 square, a 3 or a 4, 2 squares, and a 5 or a 6, 3 squares. The direction a player kicks in is determined by cards with arrows on them that are drawn from a pack or acquired during the lesson. There can also be special rules for free kicks, penalties, throw-ins, goal kicks and corner kicks. Secret Messages During the course of a lesson, the children can gradually discover a secret message. They can draw cards with letters or words on them, or find these letters or words while doing activities. Alternatively, you can use messages where numbers correspond to letters. In this case, the children can draw or find numbers, and then try to guess which letter corresponds to that number. They can also sometimes gain special cards that give them a bigger hint such as revealing a whole word in the message. These are just a few ideas. I hope you found them helpful.